Should a Catholic not have meat on Fridays? Most people have a vague notion that Friday is off limits for eating meat. Today, I want to put to rest the sometimes confusing rule, should you or should you not eat meat on Fridays? In the interest of reminding all Catholics of the sacrifice of Jesus, which occurred on a Friday, the Code of Canon Law number 1250 states, the penitential days and times in the Universal Church are every Friday of the whole year and the season of Lent. Additionally, number 1251 says, abstinence from eating meat or some other food according to the prescripts of the Conference of Bishops is to be observed on every Friday of the year, unless a Friday occurs on a day listed as a solemnity. Abstinence and fasting, however, are to be observed on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. So, to explain all of that, every single Friday of the entire year, including but not limited to the season of Lent, are days of abstinence. This means that on those days you should make a sacrifice in remembrance of Calvary, ergo, no meat. However, you'll also notice the clause according to the prescripts of the Conference of Bishops. This indicates that this is one of the instances where the church hierarchy is giving explicit permission for a local bishop conference to decide the specific way the Day of Penitence will be observed. In the Diocese of the United States, the USCCB, or United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, set the rules as very open-ended as regards the abstinence on Fridays. According to 1966's Pastoral Statement on Penance and Abstinence, number 12, it is only absolutely required that one fast from meat on Good Friday and on Ash Wednesday. However, they also strongly point out how important it is to abstain from meat on every Friday throughout Lent, saying that a Catholic is not lightly excused. Additionally, they write, We urge all to prepare for that weekly Easter that comes with each Sunday, by freely making of every Friday a day of self-denial and mortification, in prayerful remembrance of the Passion of Jesus Christ, which is much the same as what the Code of Canon Law said above. And also, changing circumstances including economic, dietary, and social elements have made some of our people feel that the renunciation of the eating of meat is not always and for everyone the most effective means of practicing penance. Meat was once an exceptional form of food, now it is commonplace. And even though we hereby terminate the traditional law of abstinence binding under pain of sin, as the sole prescribed means of observing Friday, we give first place to the abstinence from flesh meat. We do so in the hope that the Catholic community will ordinarily continue to abstain from meat by free choice, as we formerly did in obedience to church law. The bottom line, of course, being that meat is still the default penance, but you can substitute another penance which would be a better sacrifice. With those passages from the United States Conference simplified, let us take a quick look back at Canon 1251, because we're not quite finished. At the end of Canon 1251, it is written, Abstinence and fasting are to be observed on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. Norms for fasting on these days are found in Pope Paul VI's Panettimini, where he writes, The law of fasting allows only one full meal a day, but it does not prohibit taking some food in the morning and evening, observing, as far as quantity and quality are concerned, approved local custom. To the law of abstinence, those are bound who have completed their 14th year of age. To the law of fast, those of the faithful are bound to have completed their 21st year, and up until the beginning of their 60th year. Although, side note, while Pope Paul VI writes that he wishes the year for persons to begin fasting as 21, this is amended in the Code of Canon Law from 1983, which lists the age as 18. So, to summarize. Every Friday is a day of penance. The default penance for every day is to abstain from meat. This penance can be substituted by one which is similarly difficult, if one so chooses. On Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, in addition to abstaining from meat, one should have one full meal and two smaller meals. Finally, abstaining from meat starts when you are 14 and fasting when you are 18, until you turn 60.